Woo woo. What's up, y'all? This is Dr. Harmony, and you are now watching Dr. Harmony TV. Hey, what's going on to all my juggalos and juggalettes out there? And today, in this video, we're going to be discussing the metaphysics of the six Joker's cards. Now, <coughs> excuse me. Before I get into this lecture, we have to we have to understand and understand what metaphysics simply is. Metaphysics is basically the inner workings of that which is material. To be more plainly, it's the inner material of the physical world, okay? To be simple and plain about it. Um, for example, uh, what do what do dinosaurs who are carnivores eat? They eat meat, right? Okay. And so, inwardly, meat uh, uh, is their survival food. It gives them strength, uh, vitamins, minerals, protein, iron, etc. <laughs> okay? So... In this lecture, this is going to be pretty different. Um, even though this is pra uh, this is practical right here, <coughs> as you can see, um, uh, we're going to be explaining the metaphysics of the Insane Clown Posse's six Joker's cards. Okay? So, stay tuned. All right, and we're back. Okay, so before we get into the metaphysics of the six Joker's cards, let me let me first uh, give you a little brief history on the Insane Clown Posse. Now, the Insane Clown Posse originally um, started in 1991. Uh, with their very first underground um, album called Dog Beats. And at that time, they were known as the Inner City Posse, okay, instead of the Insane Clown Posse, all right? The, the whole Insane Clown Posse and the whole Dark Carnival thing, that, that did not happen until... 1992 and their their very first album um <coughs> actually their very first album was um Beverly Kills and then after Beverly Kills came the Carnival of Carnage which you see on the top left with the clown, with the blue and pink uh, colors, okay? So, um, then in, no, I'm sorry, Carnival of Carnage came out later in 91. And then after that, in the year 92, came the second Joker's card, which is... Uh, the the brittle box, which which you see on the top left uh, second picture, okay ninety three, um, <coughs> or no um uh, I'm sorry not ninety ninety four, nineteen ninety four uh came the riddle box, 
I think I got my information wrong on that, but um, I'm I'm just going off of what I remember. And then I I think the Great Malenko came out in '96. Yeah, uh, uh, the the Great Malenko, as you see on the bottom left, the Great Malenko album came out in '96. All right, and then. I want to say about 1999, uh, the Amazing Jekyll Brothers <coughs> came out. <coughs> Insane Cloud Posse also came out with a deluxe edition. And then, of course, in the year 2000, came they came out with... Uh, they came out with... The Wraith of Shangri-La and um, Hell's Pit, which came out later. And those albums, in my opinion, were pretty good albums. Okay? Um, uh, so, for, furthermore, let me tell you who the Insane Clown Posse are. All right, now, the Insane Clown Posse are a underground... Uh, they're, they're, they're known to be a underground satanic rap group. Um, <clears throat> I, st- I started listening, I started listening to them, um, yeah, I started listening to them back in 1999, but <laughs> I, di- I didn't, I didn't start, you know, really understanding them until, um, yeah, I di- I didn't really start understanding them until two thousand nine. I was nineteen at that time, and so <coughs> the the first the first song I heard from Insane Clown Posse was uh, a song that they that they did called Homies. Um, of course they they had a they had a um, they had a radio they had a radio edited version. And then they had a uncensored version, and um, there there was a there was a music video channel back in the day called Tunes, and um, some 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 nights they would play uh, the the uncensored versions of songs, and then um, other other nights they would they would play radio edited m- music videos. Well, on this particular night, they they played the uncensored version of of Homies. Now, I now I di- I didn't really like it then cuz I didn't I didn't understand it, but you know, not now that I'm older, I pretty much <coughs> under understand um I ICP the whole the whole Juggalo community the 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 majority of that community is white but but there but there's also um blacks latinos uh uh hindu people you know people of all different walks of life that are a part of this big juggalo community and culture you know so there there's a there's a bunch of them and I guess yeah, you could say, I'm I'm one of them. <laughs> I I guess you could say that. I mean, I don't really I don't really listen to um Insane Clown Posse's n- new stuff. Um, I I like I like their I like their older albums because, you know, th- their their older work had a had a lot more. <sighs> Their their older work had a lot more um, spiritual power, um, so that's why I like these albums particularly the the most. But speaking of the six Joker's cards and spiritual powers, um, I, I want to tell you about one of the members of the Insane Clown Posse. Uh, and he goes by the name of Violent J. Now, v- Violent J was a 
was a very he he was a very spiritual white person and um you know you know he 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 was he, 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 he was he was raised uh, a catholic from from what i understand and catholics are the ones that, i won't say all of them but very few of them get to a, attain higher knowledge and uh in in violent j's book behind the paint um he had had a vision that he saw a um a traveling carnival right and in this traveling car carnival came this um being on the on the on the top on the top left uh as you can see the the carnival of carnage with the pink and blue colors on it okay and this being started talking to him and he 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 said he he wasn't able to understand what he was saying but um he w he was able to carry out the messages uh of uh, of the of the dark carnival of some sort now the dark carnival with within itself can, contains all all different kinds of re re religions from christianity to islam Ju judaism Buddhism, uh, Hinduism, <coughs> New Age, probably <laughs> okay, but but um the 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 dark carnival is 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 mainly a uh, a Christian religion. Um, for 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 me, it's more metaphysical and esoteric. So, with that being said. Um. Yeah. With, with 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 that being said, um. I, again, again, um, m metaphysics is a a branch of a lot of a branch of philosophy that that believes in order for you to become spiritual, you must you must go beyond your uh f f physical understanding of things in in order to be to become sub in order to become intuitive and super intuitive okay so w with that being said let's get started so over here um at the top left the first top left uh, we have the Carnival of Carnage. Now, what does the Carnival of Carnage symbolize? <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. What does the Carnival of Carnage symbolize um, morally and spiritually and globally? So, um, m morally, it, it represents the 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 ghettos and the yeah the poverty stricken ghettos and the suburban areas okay and in the, in in this case you, you are experiencing hell on earth so i'm i'm guessing that blue would be the I'm 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 just going by my own uh intuitive understanding of the Carnival of Carnage. So the the blue would represent the the positivity of this planet, which is Earth, Gaia. So the Carnival of Carnage represents Earth and both life and negativity of Earth. And as you can see <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> as you can see, the carnival, um, the the carnival of carnage clown is holding a 
a sledgehammer. And this this sledgehammer um, sim- symbolizes chaos and destruction. Okay? So, um, so, ba- ba- basically, basically, when, basically, from a, from a, 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 a moral sense, when, when, when you, when you swing this sledgehammer, you're, 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 you're basically bringing <coughs> either, um, when, when you swing this sledgehammer, you're, 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 you're basically swinging chaos and negativity, um, from when, when you, when you, when you when you do bad things, right? And so, um, and I and what I'm feeling is from from this carnival of carnage is, yeah, okay, this this entity is real. So, what he's showing me is when you when you do negative things, he he he. He he swings his um his his um his sl- his jackhammer on you when when you when you when you when you do bad things so when he swings it at you um it's basically bloody like it's it's very destructive very chaotic so when you swing the 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 sledgehammer. Um, you're, you're, you're basically saying that you, you want to experience chaos and destruction and murder in your, in your own life. Now, if, if, if it's, if it's blue, um, if, if the, if the carnival of carnage is all blue, then you're, 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 you're basically going to experience peace happiness, joy, excitement, abundance, love, okay? So um so so like the the carnival of carnage is basically polarity. Okay? So so then next we have the riddle box which <clears throat> Um, sim sim symbol symbolizes um, judgment. Oh, let me not forget. <clears throat> um, with the carnival of carnage, uh, people bring chaos and destruction, and and both positive and negativity on themselves. So the carnival of carnage represents polarity and duality. From a, a, a metaphysical sense. Okay, he represents the he represents the 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 positive the positivity in this world, and he represents the 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 negativity in this world. But it but it but it all depends on um how you how you behave and what your intentions are in this world. Okay, I I wanted to get that straight before I got got to the second card. So the second card is the riddle box. So okay, we said the carnival of carnage represents Earth, um, polarity and duality, and also uh, positive and and positivity and negativity upon the Earth. Okay, and chaos and destruction. Okay, so. Next is the the riddle box. Um oh yeah, and um also the carnival of carnage um in the Yoruba tra- tra- tradition um I I I can't remember. 
carnival of carnage. Who, who would be the carnival of carnage in the Yoruba tradition? I'm feeling it. It would be, it would be, it would be a, uh, it would be a mixture between sh- Shango and um, Mama 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 Yimoya because she because she um. She 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 represents the earth. Okay. Okay. Oh wait. I'm sorry. The carnival of carnage in the Yoruba tradition would represent three people: Shango, Ogun, Mama Yimoya, and Mama Oya. Oya symbolizes tornadoes. Yimoya re- represents um the 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 waters. You know, whirlwinds, hurricanes, uh, tornadoes, tsunamis. Okay, that that's her destructive side. Um, her peaceful side, the the rivers and the waters just flow. Okay, um, <clears throat> now next card is the the riddle box. Okay, so with the with the riddle box he represents um he represents judgment ju- judgment upon the judgment upon the earth uh globally judgment upon judge judgment upon how you uh treat yourself sp- spiritually and physically and whether you judge uh judge others and yourself m- morally and also from in a cult aspect he represents the akashic records and and what what is the akashic records the 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 akashic records is s- simply your your uh your your um your your memory bank um all 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 the all the things you've done in this lifetime as well as um all all the things you you've done in previous lifetimes as well as um <clears throat> yeah as well as um your your future lifetimes so the 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 akashic records keeps record of ev of everything that you've done in all of your lifetimes including right now and speaking of the riddle box i just recently got a message from the riddle box about a week ago no i'm sorry yeah wait no, yes, it it was a week ago. Uh, I I got I got a message from the spirit of the the riddle box. Uh, before I went to uh my uncle's wake this past weekend, so I'm gonna be sharing that with you guys. Um, <clears throat> I'm I'm gonna be sharing his message. Um, to the juggalo universe and and the world um towards the end of this lecture okay so um the 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 riddle box he s- symbolizes judgment up, upon the earth um uh, uh, ju- ju- uh um how, how you how you treat each other uh, spiritually as well as um morally and how we treat each other in the world okay so so he so he he uh he he symbolizes um judgment and he 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 keeps um he, he symbolizes the akashic records which is also the keeper of of memory 
Okay. So, and in 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 the in the your Yoruba tradition, he he symbolizes Papa Gede because it, as you can see, the riddle box has on a hat. Okay, so so in the in the um, Yoruba tradition. He 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 would be Papa Legma. All right. Next, we have the Ringmaster, and um, I told you that album came out in ninety four. Okay, so um, the 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 Riddle Box, um. The 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 riddle box. I mean, excuse me, not the riddle box. <laughs> what I meant was the the ringmaster. Excuse me, the 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 ringmaster symbolizes the Grim Reaper, and he is also the his his positive side would be the angel of death. You can. Um, and in the Yoruba tradition, he is known as Papa Gay Day. Okay, the 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 deity of 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 the dead, of ghosts, of spirits. Okay, so. So um again like I said the 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 ringmaster in the Yoruba tradition um re represents the the ringmaster in the in the y y Yoruba tradition is Papa Gede okay he um he he represents the the underworld the the dead and he's also <coughs> um he he's also br brave gay day in the Yoruba tradition, but in but from the um but from the 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 um the the biblical and the Catholic bib biblical sense, he represents the angel of of death. Okay, and he he can also be used as a symbol of uh re re resurrection because like I said not not only um can he represent the the dead but he can also re represent the living and he he is also um the the the, the record keeper of um the the lives that um people have lived while they were on earth. Now mind you I said lives, okay? Not not lies. Okay, not like you're telling a lie, okay? <laughs> so um yeah, that that's that's been, that's mainly who the um the the ring, the ringmaster represents. So basically when um Okay, so this is how the so this is how it works, right? The the carnival of carnage uh rep, rep, represents earth. Okay? So when you get confronted with the carnival of carnage, um he he determines what whether whether you whether you're going to whether whether you're going to do good in life or or whether you you'll do very negative in life. And so, uh, going further, the riddle box um, rep, 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 represents judgment. So, what what you do is when the when the when the riddle box appears in the celestial realms, um, what you do is you you turn you um, 
you wait for a jack in a box to appear to appear and after that you 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 turn the crank and when you and when you um and when you turn the crank um the the, the um the riddle box itself will determine whether you are go, going to ascend to your next lifetime or you'll have to descend and you you you'll have to become co become conscious subconscious and super subconscious all all over again in your next lifetime now mind you this is a metaphysical interpretation of the six joker cards okay so i told you who who the ringmaster is he represents death and he he can he can also uh, be 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 a, a giver of life, but he's mainly the Grim Reaper, okay, and he's also the um the the angel of death. Um, he can, uh, he can he can he can spare your life, or he can just tell you, look, you're gonna you're gonna be here for eternity, um. Excuse me. You're gonna be here for inf infinity, and there, there's, there's no, there's no way you, you'll ever come back. And I, I'm starting to feel the 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 energies of <laughs> the dark carnival right now in my room as I'm lecturing. So I I I give power to all six beings. I, I want to thank you for uh al allowing me with with the assistance to be able to teach this kind of um you know knowledge as I lecture. All right. So the fourth card is the Great Malenko. And the Great Malenko symbolizes triumph and temptation. Okay, I'm sorry about that folks. <laughs> My um my my video went past uh twenty nine minutes. I f I forgot about that. Um, it uh if it if it goes past twenty nine minutes, um then I have to start the video all over. Okay, so as we were, as we were saying, um the the um the fourth card is the Great Malenko. Now the Great Malenko represents triumph trial and temptation okay so so he he's like um you know if you if you if you if you do if you do uh if you do evil in the world like if you if you do if you do heinous things um, he'll, 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 he, he would come out and I'm speaking from a celestial sense. Okay. So, so, so if you, so if you continue to, uh, lust after somebody, if you, if you, if you rob, steal, cheat, you know, the, the, uh, the, the, the great Malenko likes those things and envy the in the Yoruba tradition, he w he would represent, um, he would represent Ishu, because Ishu is a trickster. Okay. The 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 great Malenko in in a African sense is Ishu. All right, um, because he he represents trickery, temptation, and he, he represents trial and triumph. Now, when, now, when, when, you, when, when you do good, when you do good, it blinds the great Malenko, okay? So the great Malenko morally represents your 
um, your, 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 your most worldly desires. So if, so if you have negative thoughts and intentions and instincts, you, you, you have manifested, <laughs> you, you have, you have manifested, <coughs> you, you have manifested the, the, the wickedness of the, uh, the great Malenko. Okay. You, you've, 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 you, you've, you've made him grow and he, he has taken over your life. Okay. So, um, let me see. Um, when, when you, when you, when you do positive things in the world, um, you, you begin to blind the great Malenko and I, and I've, I've, I've witnessed this for myself in my own spiritual path to God. Okay. So, um, the, so the 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 great Malenko is issue, okay. He um e issue in the Yoruba tradition represents trickery, trickery, charisma, and abundance. Okay, like g giving you money, you know, uh, great great rewards, things of that nature. Okay, and and in the Yoruba tradition, he's issue now. The fifth Joker's card is the amazing Jekyll brothers. Okay, so <coughs> now <coughs> now I'm I'm gonna tell you about this card in particular. Now, when the rap group, the uh, the satanic rap and rock group, Insane Clown Posse, um, came out with um, the Amazing Jekyll Brothers, they said that Jack was negative and Jake was positive. And... They 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 knew what they were doing because um they 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 knew about backmashing um which which will be a which I'll talk about in a future video about um backmashing in in music and you know re reversed messages okay so Jack is not negative because as you can see, Jack is smiling. He's happy. It's Jake that's the negative one because, as you can see, he looks at he looks like he has a, uh, angry face. So, what? So, what? What the amazing Jekyll brothers, Jack and Jake represent and symbolize, is. Jack represents. Positive, um, he he represents positive decision making and positive choices. That's what Jack represents, and Jake, on on the other hand, represents negativity and negative choices, and he also, and, uh, the the amazing Jekyll brothers Jack and Jake, also represent the things that you love and the things that you hate the most in your life okay and the and the and these balls that they that they juggle represent your your positive and your negative deeds that you, that you've well your i i'll say your your um your positive and your and your negative karma okay 
that that um that you've co- committed in your life um because that there there is such thing as negative deeds okay there's no such thing as good and bad in the metaphysical and occult world only positive and negative all right so jack rep- jack's balls of fire represents all the positive deeds you've done um and jake jake represents all the all the all the all the negative deeds you have done when you were living on the earth okay now my favorite part <laughs> in the yoruba west african tradition uh he he uh he he represents oh i i i don't know i don't know why i'm forgetting to mention this um the 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 ringmaster in the occult sense um from 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 the occult perspective um is is not is not only brave gay day and um papa gay day and the angel of death he, he's also baron somni the 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 yoruba god of magic and my spirit's like that's right <clears throat> that's correct okay so 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 the so the ringmaster is also baron baron sami okay so um we were talking about the amazing, amazing Jekyll brothers the the yoruba interpretations okay so in the in the yoruba tradition um Jack and Jake Jekyll <coughs> Jack and Jake Jack and Jake Jekyll um it, in the um in the African tradition rep- represents and symbolizes Papa Il- Papa Ilegua and I'm um, I'm sorry, Papa Ilegba and Papa Ilegba. I mean, Papa Ilegba and Ilegwa. Okay, uh, Papa Ilegba is he 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 would be positivity, um, positive consciousness, um, positive thinking. Um, positive choice choices and positive decision making. Papa Ilegua would 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 be the uh d- demonic being, and I I have encountered him. I I haven't spoken with um Ilegba as of yet, but 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 Ilegua I've encountered. And he and he he represents the d- demonic realm, and he represents uh, um, negative thinking, negative decision making, um, negative choices. Okay. Um. So, the. The the sixth and final card is the Wraith of Shingra La and Hell's Pit. Okay? Now in short I'll say this because we don't want to be too long. <laughs> the 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 Wraith of Sh- Shingra La and the Wraith of Hell's Pit symbolizes a few things which would be 
Olo, Olo, um, we'll say Olo, Olo Dumare, Olo Sumare, which is God and Goddess. And he represents Olofi in the Yoruba tradition. And I'll tell you why. Um, because the in the Yoruba tradition, um, some 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 Haitian people that practice Christianity, um, they also uh, practice a form of voodoo. So, from from an occult sense, the 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 reason why you see two two thorns on the wraith of Shingrila's head is because those thorns also represent the crown of thorns that that Jesus had worn when he was uh, hung on a cross. Okay. And um, met, met, meta, meta, metaphysically, um, meta, metaphysically, the the thorns also represent the seven chakra, the crown chakra. Okay. Um. And I, and I, I'm I'm gonna show you another picture of what I'm talking about in a few minutes. So. Um, the, the, the Ray from Shangri-La, um, is both, actually, he's God, the devil, and the Grim Reaper. He, he's, he's, he, 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 he's three in one, and he, he, he's also Je Jesus Christ, and even, even your Jesus Christ can can also be symbolized as the grim reaper because in the in the book of mark of your christian bible G, uh jesus said that i did not come to uh i did not come to bring peace and joy into the world he, yeah he said i did not only come to bring peace and joy into the world, but 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 also a a sword of destruction. So what does that mean? He 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 didn't just come that Jesus didn't just come to give you um, messages of of peace, love, and joy, happiness, and abundance. He he also came to give us messages of Warning, destruction, chaos. Okay, so there's pictures of the wraith of Shangri-La, not not only showing you uh, its power of he uh, heaven and hell, but also um, showing you that he he he. He 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 is the Grim Reaper, and when and when you mess with him from that level, you will get dealt with on that level from a from a uh, from a from an infinite sense. No one wants to invoke the the Grim Reaper. You'll you'll be making a very bad decision and choice doing so. Okay, all right. And like I said, I'm I'm going to show that picture in a, in a few minutes after this lecture. So, all right. So, as I as I told you, the the rape of Shangri La represents God, goddess. Um, and the rape of Shangri La also has a female counterpart by the name of Mother Wraith. Okay, Ma Mother Wraith of Shangri La, and her color is is green, and sometimes it's purple. So that color represents 
um, love and compassion. Okay. And then the 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 purple represents vi vision, in insight, intuition. Okay, Cl clarity, and uh, self realization, overstanding, because there's really no no such thing as understanding, because when you when uh, <clears throat> when you when you when, when when you understand that basically means that you're you're ignorant of something. That's why they say you're supposed to stand under something. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, um. The the rape of Shinkra Law is is basically in from a, from a global sense he's basically the spirit of the universe. Okay, he he he's the great d divine source. Okay, and he can be the great destructive source. As well, because I, I told you that the Wraith of Shangri-La and the Wraith of Hell's Pit also sim symbolizes heaven, hell, heaven on earth, and hell on earth. So, the Wraith of Shangri-La and Hell's Pit, um, that is the that is the great judge okay he he would he would be like okay this is the final verdict <laughs> you know what i'm saying so so you you have to what you juggalos and juggalettes out there what you guys have to understand is that you know these six energies are within each and every one of you as juggalos and juggalettes in the community okay um and from 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 what I, from what i understand you know all all the all, all these religions were were thought about before we all existed um yeah, that that includes the dark carnival. So 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 God knew the 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 great divine source, the great creator, the creator knew that a a religion such as the dark carnival was coming, okay? And whether 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 y'all like me or not, I'm I'm still somewhat a part of that community because it 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 helped to awaken me even even after i i left the juggalo community because i i i was still i was still leaning uh towards you know dark carnival uh theology if you will okay so i'm i'm still i'm still con connected to that energy um in a sense, and my and my my best friend of twenty years, uh, El Eldridge the Clown. Okay, I'm a, I'm gonna put out his Juggalo name, and um he he was also known as Ace the Juggalo. Shout out to him. Whoop whoop, much clown love, homie, love you. But um, yeah, it's 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 because of it's because of him that I'm that I'm still um spiritually and celestially attached to that dark carnival consciousness yeah i'm 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 still attached to this dark carnival consciousness and it's never going away because i've had some juggalo and jungleheads um inspire and influence my life as well and um, also shout out to Carolyn Jenkins, I, I miss you. All right, so I'm doing this six Joker card lecture on 
their behalf. Okay, so again, shout out to um, Sean Brown, aka Eldridge the Clown. <laughs> Wait, shout out to Shwaib Muhammad, formerly known as Sean Brown, formerly known as Sean Brown, um, whose rap name is also Eldridge, Eldridge the Clown. And this guy is a devout juggalo. Like, like, I, like, I still put on uh, grease paint, but for, uh, for different reasons. Like, I'm, like, I'm, I'm a, I'm an African spiritualist. <coughs> so, um, yeah, <laughs> I'm feeling uh, the energy of, um, Juggalette right now. I don't know who she is, but, um. Yeah, I'm 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 getting some love just because I'm doing this lecture. All right. Uh got guys we're going to take a um brief intermission real quick. Um I'm going to finish with the last car and then we're going to end with in this lecture. Okay, so um we're going to take a brief intermission and I'll be right back. Peace. Okay. And I'm back. <laughs> All right. So, where were we? Okay. The last thing we spoke about was the Rafe of Shangri-La and Hell's Pit, right? So, the Rafe of Shangri-La re represents your higher and highest self. Okay, and then, um, <clears throat> th uh, the Wraith of Hell's Pit represents your your lower self. So, the Wraith of Shangri-La and Hell's Pit is God, the Devil, and the Grim Reaper, all at the same time. So, from a metaphysical sense, the 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 wave of Shangri La represents your seven major chakras, and yeah, your seven major chakras, which are at the center, which are inside your body from the the root the root chakra the sacral the solar plexus the heart the throat the third eye the crown chakra and and then you have uh thir 13 intuitive chakras which would be the um the the godhead the astral Okay, I had to make another video. Okay, as I said, you have four intuitive chakras, which would be the your your god and goddess head, your astral chakra, um, your your galactic chakra. And last but not least, your rainbow chakra, aka your divine masculine and your divine feminine chakra. Okay. Um. So the wraith of Shingra Lot represents. Your, your higher and lower self. He 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 represents your 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 your, your deepest uh, ignorance, and 
he also represents your your greater and highest knowledge. All right. So. <coughs> Um, oh, and in the Yoruba tradition, he represents Olodumare, Olosumare, and he represents...